Hi, today we're talking about how to find the derivative of a function using the product rule. Now this is the second video of uh, the product rule and uh, as you remember we need to break this down into f and g. So this is going to be f so we got 3x and then f prime is going to be the derivative of this so it's just going to be a 3 so because if we had x to the first power 1 times 3 is 3 and then we drop the x so you got 3 alright now for the g it's going to be that whole thing so we got 4x plus 3 all to the third power now we're going to use the, the chain rule to find the derivative of this. So the derivative of 4x plus 3 is, is just going to be a 4. And uh, so you're going to multiply that by the exponent up here, which is 3, times 4x plus 3 to the second power. So but let's simplify this for a second. So the derivative is 4 times the exponent, which is 3. That's going to leave us with 12. All right. And then we'll multiply that by 4x plus 3 to the second power. Now, this is just n minus 1. So if you had a 7 up here, it would now become a 6. If, uh, if you had a negative 6, on the other hand, it would become a negative 7 because it's going to be the number minus 1. So how we got the derivative we just used the chain rule and that says you take the exponent so it would be a 3 times the derivative of what's inside so 4x plus 3 the derivative is just the 4 so you take that 3 times the 4 times this whole thing and drop the exponent down 1 so you got 12 times 4 plus or 4x plus 3 to the second power now we're going to cross multiply so this is the first step. So we're going to take 3 times 4x plus 3 all to the third power. And the second step is to take, uh, I'm sorry, this is f prime. Sorry about that. Alright, so the second step is to take g prime times f. So you're going to multiply that so we're gonna get 3x times 12 is going to give us and with the product rule you're gonna you're gonna take f prime times g plus f times g prime whereas with the quotient rule we'd be subtracting so you get 36 x times 4x plus 3 squared. And when you do this, uh, you could that could be the, that right there is the derivative of this function. However, we need to simplify it. So to do this, it can get a little bit hairy, but let's uh, make it real easy. And the way to do that is you see that this 4x plus 3 is the same over here as it is over here. So let's make u equal 4x plus 3. Alright, so we're going to rewrite that and uh, it's going to be 3 times u cubed plus 36x times u squared. Now we can simplify this even further and how we do that is we figure out what both of these have in common. So they both have they're both divisible by u squared right and uh, this one this uh, they're both divisible by 3. So we're going to take Three u squared 
times u plus 12 x so this equals that okay and if you wanted to check it we can check it real fast so 3u squared times 3u is going to give us 3u cubed plus 3u squared times 12x is going to give us 36xu squared and that is the same 3u cubed plus 36xu squared 36xu squared okay so now that we've checked it let's fill in the parentheses alright so we've got 3u squared and that u is 4x plus 3 so let's just put it in there 4x plus 3 plus 12x and, that, and that's going to leave us with 16x plus 3 now let's put in this 4x plus 3 times 3 so you know, let's finish that 3u squared and that's going to give you 3 times 4x plus 3 squared times 16x plus 3 and that is the derivative of this function and that's how you'd write it